What's up everybody, welcome back to Giga Gang Gaming, the place where it's all fun and games and we are back in Darkness Falls trying to test out this horde base that I'm currently building and I'm a little bit worried that I'm not going to be able to finish it quick enough before the horde night. Um, I've done quite a bit actually, I've done one, two, three, four rows, I've just done the floor, I've got to do one more row inside because it's Pretty big base. I've used so much cobble. I've only got eight frames left. I need to see if I can make some more. Um, or even buy some more, maybe. Get to a trader. But it is really coming along. I just... I need to carry on building. This day has got to be spent building. I can't be doing missions, doing anything like that. Um, what I also did during the night time was I made this. Bicycle. Bicycle. I got my brand new bicycle. I ride it on my base. So, uh, yeah, I'm really happy with that. I'm going to take that. It makes me get around a lot quicker. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go to the trader, actually. See if he's got some cobblestone. If not, I've got to go about getting some more resources, taking some more stone out. Um, I think I've got plenty of clay. I've got a feeling I've got plenty of clay back in our temporary base. And uh, try and make some more cobblestone blocks. Otherwise... I might be in a bit of trouble here. Okay, it appears I've got 53 clay. That's not good. It's not good at all. Do need some food, though. We've got some food on me. Um, do we have any more glass jars in here? I've just got these six empty glass jars. I think we've got some more cooking in this campfire, if it allows me to get inside it. Yes, we've got another tent. That's good. Now let's talk to this incredibly useful person. It would help if I had my money. And let's see what he's got. So he's got a load of clay. How much is that going to cost? No sell. I'm not trying to sell. I'm going to buy. What's the price? What's the value? Actually, that cost me barely anything. I'll buy it all. I just bought 3,800 3, uh, clay for pretty much nothing. Um, so that leaves me only having to get stone. And it looks like he doesn't have anything anything in here like that for me to buy off him which is not very useful from him i can buy a forge don't really need another forge at the moment might need another one later on Ooh, a mannequin no oh, don't get distracted by silly things giga stupid i wonder if she'll have anything that i can do use do use no not really eh. i am gonna have to go out and get some stone and i'm also gonna need to take some scrap with me because scrap is what I use to fix things. Do I have any scrap? Yes, I do. That'll do. Excellent. Oh, this might be a very, very close haul when it comes to building this horde base. Do I have any skill points? I have four skill points. Surely I can put something into labour or something. Do something. The weapons and tools degrade 20% slower. Big forge. Not fussed about anything like that. I want to speed up and increase my resource gathering boulder buster increase damage of mining tools to blocks by 80 percent decrease stamina usage with mining tools by 40 percent increase harvest count with mining tools by 80 percent i want that one then the next one i think is level 60 yeah i'm only just got to level 40 okie dokie I also put one in pummel peat just while we're here i think that's it now, I am doing a little bit more damage, and I think I'm actually getting more resources. Yes, I got an extra eight resources for that. It works. I'm finally seeing some results from all my levels. All right, there we go. That's finished the main section of this base. For the next part, we have to use these special shapes. That are design and then you've got the cube three by three by one these are the big boys these take up all the room and it makes for much quicker building so what i'm going to do is just start putting them side by side just so i've got a decent height for when i'm building the outside of this ramp that i'm going to build going up around it um i'm not going to bother with doing it all the way because I only need to sit on maybe even two is good enough um, two blocks wide 
to fight the zombies on the first horde night. So I might just might just leave it like that and build up a few layers with these three by three by ones and then fill in the inner rings a bit later on when I've got more time for it. Um, because I'm really time stressed. Like I'm waiting for all these being cobblestone rocks to be made while I'm building frames and I haven't got the bloody time for it. It's, it's taking forever. Looking good though. Alright. Now I'm thinking I've got this built, bit built pretty much. I've got... I need two frames to fill this in. Yeah, two frames. One there and one there. And then that bottom layer is done. So what I need to start thinking about now is building the ramp that goes along the side of it. Now I'm thinking I was going to build it in between the trader and here, but I'm actually, I'm actually thinking I want to start the build of the ramp down here and build it around. Um, you've also got to think about when you're building bigger bases like I am now, the wider the sides are, you're not going to get many corners in your base going around the outside because otherwise you're going to have a really really high build and you don't want it too high i don't know how high you have to build it before zombies start just ignoring that ramp and trying to go for maybe the flooring that you've got here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this stuff with damn it i just wasted a bloody frame i need this stuff giga stop being a dickhead so what we want to do is build more frames for a start because we don't have enough we don't have a working workstation workbench which is not ideal uh, having one of those in this game would actually be really 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 useful so what i'm going to do is measure let's first off let's go with a normal basic shape let's measure two out so that is the width of our path. Our path is going to start right next to here. So it's built underneath it, so it's got a solid foundation. We'll start at the corner with the ramp. Um, because on my previous test builds, zombies were... Because the ramp didn't start till, say, over here. And they were falling on that corner over there. They were running across here, and I wasn't getting a very good view of them down the hole so what i want them to do ideally is to run straight across this hole and have the ramp starting up here so they go up there and then i've got a really good view i can lob molotovs down there and i've got no problem hitting them it should make life a little bit easier for me right as soon as you get to this height where you've reached the uh, three by three by ones so you've gone above uh, above above the single blocks that you've got underneath here you can start using the floating technique. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab a plate like so. Actually, I can get a thinner one than that, can't I? There's surely a thinner one. Can I use a, a sheet? Yeah, let's try a sheet. you got to be careful with these now because you can barely see them. And you rotate them like that. So now, when you take this block from underneath, that block will float. Zombies won't be able to attack these blocks. They are quite weak. So cop zombies and stuff like that, if they manage to get a shot off at you, they will get like splash damage, um, which isn't very nice. What you do is carry on like that all the way up as you're using these blocks. And you can just build it as you go. Which is quite nice. But what I'm thinking is maybe because of the height of it, because you can see how quickly the height goes up, and I've got to use a lot more frames to fill this all out to go up more levels. So what I'm thinking is building up to that halfway point and then building straight across, straight around corner, and then going up a bit more. So uh I will see how that goes, and uh, I'll show you in a few seconds. Now, this is another tricky bit about this build, is the corners. Obviously, when you're using these plates to make the floaty bits, you can't do that on the corner sections. So what you have to do is go to each end of the corner and build 
the furthest ones that you can, or the closest ones that you can, sorry, I should say, a bit of a tricky way of explaining this, and then build the path. They can take the weight, so you should be fine using it as long as you've got those two corner pieces doing the floatiness like they should be, and you'll all be good. So now what I'm going to do is build more flipping frames. You're taking too long. Keep having to swap these out. 59 frames. That'll do. More cobblestone rocks. Good. We've got some more frames being built. I'm going to build the next level up, build a ramp up, and then the next corner I'm going to have... Might not even be a corner because I don't technically need it. I might build it up halfway going across, then have my fighting platform there. Hmm. Food for thought. Uh, excuse you. This base is not ready for your like. Get lost. Bugger. That is the one problem with this base. When you're building it, you might break a leg every now and again. Oh, we've gone up to the right height, I think, for what I want to do. Not quite high, very high, actually. We might not get as many corners in as we want. I might have to uh, rejig some things for the next horde night, just so it doesn't go up so much. But what I'm going to do now is I am going to create the drop corner... By using these old centered. We need one there. Can we get another one on the side. Or is this going to be. Yeah, there we go. And another one. And a run out of frames. Oh. There we go. That's that. Then, if we can. No, we don't want plates. Copy this shape here. Just for now, we're going to build something so that the zombies don't think that they can get up here. But they can't jump across. Hmm. We need more frames. Right, that should just about do it. We should be clear now. Oh, we got a wandering horde at the flipping perfect time, haven't we? They need to get lost. I've got my baseball bat. I could do with another few more frames to sort out this defensive position. So I'm just going to let them get up here and swing away at them. Uh, let's see what shapes we've got. I think I'll go with... There's a nice couple of doubles somewhere. Yes. Eight doubles, will they do? Yep. Two there, two there. That means I can f hit anything that's crouched or trying to get through there. And I've got headshots prime for here. Um, I'm not going to worry about them building on top of each other. Because I've built that nice and high to stop that. Nice and simple. Go see what kind of time we're looking at. The sun still hasn't gone down, so we've got quite a bit of time. Um, I have also need to build some ramps. The zombies can get up here nice and easy. Don't want to worry about them breaking the pathway because that'll ruin this. Good. That's that. Right, let's go quickly and get anything we need. I think we're good for. We've got six food and five water, so we'll be good for that for the horde night. Let's see what uh, weapons we've got. We've got Molotovs in here that we'll definitely need to take. Molotovs. Um, I've got all the shotgun ammo that I've got. <laughs> I haven't got any more. I've got 41 stone arrows, so that'll have to do for now. Alright, you, lady, got, got what your name is. Quarter past eight. White Skiv River Scout. You don't even have a name. It's not very good. I'll give you a name. Sue. Right, let's get back up there, get into our defensive position. And let's see how this does. I think it's going to do quite well, to be honest. I'm hoping it's going to do quite well, anyway. Here we go. It is the Horde Knight. And let's see how this goes. Here they all come. 
Burning all the way to there, and what are they doing? I don't think I've built the ramp very well down there. There's much more I can do. Excuse you, lady. What do you think you're doing? Weirdo. Boom. Yeah, not bad. There you go. Some fall. Haha. <laughs> Give him a give him a little tap. I see a lot of them are falling down already. You can hear them. Quite a lot of them make it. I think I don't think I've made that um, section long enough for that corner. I just, a lot of them are falling, and that is just the very basic. I don't want them to all fall. I want to be able to get some kills. That's the reason I haven't put um, the uh, little barrier on the corner to make them jump so they definitely, well, pretty much all of them fall off. I just want to make sure that I can get some skill points. Um, what are they? Are they trying to hit anything? No. It actually isn't too bad. They all fall down quite efficiently. Makes the uh, Horde Knight quite easy. You don't have to worry about it too much. You're not going to get overrun very quickly at all, really. Swing like a lot of them and they're all bloody falling. Stop it. I want to kill some of you. How's it looking with them all falling down there? Let's leave them there for a bit and let's see what they do. I've got a feeling they are running directly across. Yeah, pretty much. So I've got that ramp in the right place by the looks of things. I just don't think I've built it very well. I'm going to have to check over here just to see what's going on. Make sure they haven't destroyed... Yeah, they're destroying some of the ramp blocks. I haven't built that perfectly well. So here, have a Molotov. All get set on fire. Before you start destroying things and stopping yourself from building up. You, sir, can back off. That sounds like a pigeon. Oh my god! What? Bloody loads of them! off why is there so many of you oh my god okay I wasn't expecting that that was a fail how many bloody pigeons are you gonna have to send at me oh god there's so many of them maybe we should uh, just hide out a little while this is going on and uh, then we'll skip forward to the morning and we'll have a look at how this went oh so wrong. There we go. Lord night is over. Oh my god, look at my health and my stamina stuff. It's all gone. Right, so they did not like this ramp. I built the ramp wrong. As soon as I'd seen it and using it, I knew there was something wrong there. Um, but I know how to fix that. This bit worked perfectly. But I just was not prepared for the damn pigeons. So I'm going to have to build a proper roof and sort that out. We'll kill quite a lot of zombies. Um, let's see what the... Barely any damage. Look at it. This is just cobblestone. I've run out of cobblestone. Uh. Oh, hello, you. Get lost. What about these blocks? Are they taken any? No, they've taken nothing. 
these bits taking any damage? You're taking a bit. You're taking a bit. Not break my leg. I've only just got back to normal. Excuse you. You're not allowed. So we nearly did it. I think if I'd had experience with uh, Darkness Falls, I would have expected the birds and would have dealt with them properly. But because I didn't expect it, I didn't prepare for it. Oh, who sends that many vultures at you from the first flipping horde? Death pigeons? Don't like them. I ain't a fan. They're evil. Never mind. But we've got quite a bit of loot. Oh, we've got a blue thing. What the hell was a blue thing? A key card. Doors. What doors need key cards? I've never heard of that. But yeah, let's see about fixing this. I know what to do. What I have done is I've built the ramp, starting part of the ramp, too close to here. So I've got nothing on the side so that they start beating on the sides here. Um, that is quite a common thing to take care of, and I just did a dum dum because of things like yo bastards. So I will leave it there, guys. That was I'll take that as a success. I think that was a success. The base worked how it was supposed to. It was just me not working how I'm supposed to. So I'm going to clear these points and then we will carry on with day eight preparation for the day 14 horde. Quick maths, terrible. You think I've never played this game before? Should be all good. I like this machete actually. It clears all the body parts away with one hit. Excellent. And let's put that in there. So I'll see you next time, guys. Remember to keep it all fun and games. And goodbye.